I had the distinguished honor and opportunity to sit down and meet with another expat today. Her name is Terry Carroll. As soon as I come back, I'll share the interview I had with her. Hey! Hello there. When I first moved here 19 months ago, one of the first people that I met after I got uh, settled in and got comfortable with being here was a young lady from Atlanta, Georgia. She moved here a little before I did. She, her name is Terry Carroll. She's an awesome singer. She's a gospel singer. She's got CDs out. I'm going to put a link to one of her YouTube videos in the description. Today we had a nice little chat. And she, she called me to ask me if I would be uh, open to uh, spending some time with her and teaching her a little about photography. She wanted to learn photography. So I said, sure, let's get together and we'll talk. We'll go over all your equipment and so forth and we'll figure out a game plan for how uh, we can make this work. I told her when we were about done, I said, there is a little caveat to me meeting with you today, you had to agree to let me do an interview with you. So I interviewed her. She's very open to it. So we had a little chat and here's the interview. So Terry, we tried this and we failed once before. <laughs> yes. We tried we tried to do this interview and well we did do an interview. We did a great interview. We did. And it was super we asked a lot of if I may say so myself, I asked a lot of good questions, mm -hmm. and you gave me some excellent answers, but the problem was that we were in the wrong place. We were outside in a noisy restaurant area. We had some good food. Yes, we did. <laughs> the noise and stuff, music in the background ruined it, yeah. and we I didn't want to fight copyright, you know, battles yeah. and everything. So yeah. here we are. We were Terry Carroll, and I tell people you're a famous singer. <laughs> you're a gospel singer. We know yeah. that from talking to people. As a matter of fact, when, when, as I mentioned in the intro to this video, I mentioned your CD and the link to it in YouTube. Yes. Where people can actually walk, watch it and hear you sing. Oh, thank you. So where did you come from? Originally Gary, Indiana, born and raised, and mm -hmm. I lived in Atlanta, Georgia for 35 years. That's where I came from before I moved to Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What in the world made you want to come to Ecuador? <laughs> Well, I originally had a plan to retire outside of the United States, you know, simply for um, economic reasons, just to be able to make my retirement money stretch farther. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of stuff was going on in the United States. I came in 2021. I started making my plans in 2020. Uh, and I just really felt the need for some peace and just a slowing down, mm -hmm. you know. So I decided to push my retirement plans way up because um, I'm still not retirement age and I've already been here two years. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So I originally was going to move to Panama. Okay. And it was during the pandemic that I was making these decisions and their borders weren't open. They, each month they kept saying they were going to open it the next month and the next month. And I needed to make a decision about getting my documents together. So I had to decide which country and Panama and Ecuador were neck and neck. So I, the, the borders were open in Ecuador. So I decided to come to Ecuador so, and give it a try. So uh, what, let's say, what are the top five reasons why you picked Ecuador as opposed to Panama? Besides the fact that the borders weren't open. Yeah. Actually, that's really the main reason because if, I, if the borders had been open, I would have been there. Okay, you would have been in Panama. Because yes, because okay. but because they're very similar in the things that I was looking for, like proximity to the United States, lower cost of living, mm -hmm. great health care, good weather, like they all were similar on, on those areas and so Yeah, yeah. yeah. What did you do for a living when you were in the States? Oh, uh, I was in retail. Retail. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well the last job I had was at the post office. Post office, mm -hmm. right. Did anybody go postal on you? No, they did not. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God for I that. Might yeah. have, I might have wanted to go post a yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, didn't have any of that. <laughs> so, you, so you've been here two years, mm -hmm. going on, going on to, you've been here just a little bit longer than I have. Just a little bit over two years. In fact, yeah. yesterday I applied for my permanent residency visa, so waiting for the word to come back about that. Okay, and mm -hmm. then that means you'll be getting your cedula yes. soon. So my, yeah, my 10-year cedula, yeah. Yeah. So 
What do you do what, on a daily basis? I mean, you said you're still working, right? I am a graduate student, actually, graduate so student. I'm still in graduate school and writing my thesis. Okay. But uh, I... Can we ask what it's going to be about, or is it too... No, it's not. It's about spirituality, how you use spirituality as a tool to um, um, get off of substance abuse, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. You're and a spiritual person, women. aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, you <laughs> Believe in God. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Very strong. You strongly. pray? Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. yeah, good for you. Every day, first thing in the morning. Yeah. What about mm -hmm. when you go to bed at night? Do I don't say my prayers like I used to when I was a little girl? Yeah, I'm too tired. But I I'm pray going all to bed, day, God. though. Yeah. I pray all day, and I also do a virtual—I mean, uh, yeah—a virtual Bible study on Tuesday night with my brother, who is okay. in in ministry. He's going to school in theology seminary, rather. Yeah. So we yeah. do that every Tuesday night. So on average day, here for you, you get up, you you go out to eat, or do you eat at home? I usually eat at home. What I usually like to do when I get up first, I try to do some type of exercise. If mm -hmm. I have a, a couple of days that I do beach days, come out and walk on the beach, mm -hmm. or I work out at home with cardio, strength training, yoga. Mm -hmm. um, after that, then I usually, around about 10, I have some breakfast or something. Okay. And then I'll start working on my thesis. That's a couple of hours. Or... Um, on days that I'm not doing that, errands, because um, I'm also taking photography lessons from an amazing mm -hmm. master, master teacher. Huh? Yeah, yeah, master photographer. I think I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also singing in a band, so there's rehearsals. So, yes, a lot so of stuff. So you're not without something to do. No, I mean, I'm not. You're not, you're, you're not anywhere near retirement. I'm so. not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I, I actually think I got a few too many things on my plate. I'm trying to balance them now. So, yeah, I didn't want to have stuff every minute of every day. But there are still a lot of times mm. for relaxing. Uh, we have a, a lot of friends here. I have a lot of friends here and social yeah. socialize. And so we go out to eat and we go listen to live music and all that kind of yeah, stuff. So we yeah. have fun too. But you got to be careful about I tell my girlfriend all the time about burning the candle at both ends. Mm -hmm, yeah. But you know what happens when you run out of candle? So you, you just, yeah. everything's gone. Just, <laughs> right. <you know? laughs> right. So, you know, you got to be careful about oh, yeah. that. So I have a lot of downtime. I yeah. still, with all of that that I said, I still have plenty. I make sure I have chill time yeah, and sure. meditation and just sit at, look at the ocean and look at the mountain time. Yeah. You know, you got to do that here. It's so beautiful. So going back a couple of years and you're telling your family, <laughs> guess what, mom, dad, brother, sister, guess where I'm going? Yeah. You had that moment, huh? Well, yeah, I didn't really like? have a whole lot of blowback. My mom asked a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. She wasn't negative. She just was like, why do you want to move to another country? So I knew I had to have my plan together when I answered her. So when I told her my plan, then she was okay with it. My children were very excited about it. Yeah. I had a couple of family members that were negative and um, a couple of them that are still negative, even two years later, seeing that I'm doing much better mentally and physically in my health because I had a lot of physical health problems that mm -hmm. I've been able to manage much better here and the peace mm -hmm. you know that I have here has just been all around good for me yeah so yeah. but yeah it was a few negative so how many chances. years did you spend planning this migration here none. none I decided probably in April of 2020 that I was leaving and in January of 2021 I was here have any regrets none did you have regrets before you came here? Did you ever wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh, my God, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, I did yeah, that a lot. Yeah, I had a lot. Yeah. It's just, you So know. you just packed up, you sold, sold everything you packed had? Packed up, packed didn't up. even sell anything, gave away stuff. I had a, a friend that held some stuff for me so I could come back and go through it. Mm -hmm. Whatever I didn't give away, my children didn't want, and I just left. I didn't mm -hmm. care. I just left it. And um, I didn't do an exploratory trip. Yeah. I just came down. I was You're just, still doing your exploratory trip. I'm, this is it. <laughs> this is the exploratory trip. I'm kind of glad I didn't do one because, you know, a lot of things that I've encountered since I've been here, I'm already here. Like, I wouldn't have wanted small little nitpicky things to keep me from coming. Mm -hmm. You know, now that I'm here, you, I deal with it. And it's not, it's not a big deal. Yeah. So, no. yeah. So... If you have the opportunity to give one piece of advice to a single expat woman wanting to come here, what would you tell her? 
I would really tell her to learn as much about this culture as you can. Be open-minded. Please don't come down here thinking it's a little America that costs less. You know, respect it. Res you know, have an open mind to learning things and getting into the actual culture. Get out of the expat bubble some. Yeah. And please learn this language. Um, if you start basically, even with a little app like Duolingo or mm -hmm. whatever they have, start basically with that. And then don't be afraid to talk to people. I learned a lot of Spanish from taxi drivers, yeah. you know, from my assistant, from the people at the store. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you just talk and tell them you don't speak well, then they'll, they'll work with you. They'll help you if you say something wrong. You can't mm -hmm. be afraid to, to try because that's mm -hmm. the only way to learn the languages are meant to be spoken. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can learn them is to open your mouth and do it and be wrong. Don't be scared to be wrong. But yeah, and then keep your same safety factors in place that you always would anywhere in the world as a single woman. And however you keep yourself safe, then continue to do that. Yeah. Are you ever afraid here? No, I'm not afraid, but I will tell you that the, the Latino men are a little aggressive more than I'm used to. Mm -hmm. So I have to speak up because I'm a single woman. I was thinking about getting a ring and putting it on anyway. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. pretending like I was married because they'd be like, hey, what's up? You know, and yeah, yeah they're more, they're more touchy feely. And so I, I don't need to tell people on this channel that you're single and available. I you, think that they probably just... know by now. <laughs> They probably know by now, yeah. but yeah, but I'm not afraid. I yeah. just, you just have to, I just have to kind of just be, you know, firm, a sure. little more firm that's sure. Sure. in a nice way. Yeah. Why do you want to be a photographer? Well, I love really videography the most, but because I'm an artist, I like to be self-contained. So mm -hmm. if I need to take still pictures or if I want to take shots for my covers or any kind of promotional or marketing stuff. I want to be able to do that myself because I've, I've run into problems with that in the past and having to wait on people or having to have the budget, you know, to yeah. pay people. So I just want to be able to do what do it all for myself, do yeah. the music, do the videography, do the photography, everything, yeah, good, you know, good. the marketing, the promotion. Well, I'm going to help you with that. Well, thank so you. Yes, gonna, you're helping me. You're gonna, I'm going to turn you into a master photographer. All right. You probably won't even want to finish your thesis. You'll probably give up on that. <laughs> I already don't want to you know? finish my thesis, so we on point. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a question I would thought of a minute ago, and I thought, and it slipped my mind. It's a, uh, oh, oh. Did you buy your place or are you renting? I'm renting. You're renting. Mm -hmm. Have you been you've been renting ever since you've been I here? I have been renting ever since I've been here and I am a person who've had several apartments. I have this is my third apartment since okay. I've been here right. in two years. Yeah. yeah. Do you what do you think about you hear me talk about noise? What are your thoughts about noise? Well, I'm I'm not too upset about the noise since I do live alone. It mm -hmm. kinda it's lively to me, yeah. you know, but I don't live in a very noisy neighborhood anyway. Okay. Uh, I actually live in an Ecuadorian neighborhood. Okay. I live outside of where most of the expats live. So um, there's a, some music sometimes, some mm -hmm. parties sometimes, like it's getting ready to be because yeah. we have carnival season now. But mm -hmm. um, uh, generally the noise day. doesn't bother me yeah. that much. It's not outrageous yeah. where I live. So what do you think about the crime situation here? Do you think that's a problem or... Well, I think I think out of proportion? yeah, I think we have to keep an eye on it like mm -hmm. we would anywhere. I don't it hasn't affected me personally, but mm -hmm. you know, I just think you just got to keep an eye on crime. Yeah. You know? Do you keep up with what's going on back in the states as far as politics? And, no, I do not. Yeah. I so, if so. something is really huge happening and it'll spill over and everybody's talking about mm -hmm. it, but in generally I do not look at the news because that was that was a part of the problem for me mm -hmm. that I wanted to leave behind is that constant inundation of negative energy. Yeah. Like I what don't. What do you think happened to the United States? What the hell happened to that country? I think I feel like, well, in my opinion, removing God from everything yeah. was the first issue to me. Um, and then just no, no discipline. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. 
-hmm. No rules. Don't want to follow rules. Nobody wants anybody to tell them anything. That's going to be chaos. I mean, everybody's got to have rules, you yeah. know. So it's just it's just the wild, wild west. Everybody got guns. Everybody yeah. shooting each other. There's, yeah. there's, there's no boundaries, no discipline. So yeah. you got yeah. 80 million people doing what they want to do. It's, it's not going to work out. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any pets? No pets. Do you want one? Nope. No? Mm -mm. You know, because I like being able to be spontaneous and independent, and so I really don't want to take care of anything right now. And I was a single mom of three. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good and on that. And you keep in touch with your kids. Absolutely. And, your and my six grandchildren. Oh, my God. All the time. <laughs> You're old enough to have six grandchildren? Yes, my oldest grandson is about to graduate from high school this year. My Lord. And my youngest granddaughter is nine months, yeah. so that's the gap that we have. With the so, grandkids. how long are you gonna stay here? I plan on making Ecuador my base uh, in case, in, unless something happens to change that. And I'd like to, when I actually retire, then I'd actually like to do a little bit more traveling. Yeah, you want to see other world. parts of South America? Mm -hmm. Other parts of South America, Anything places in, in Africa. Mm. I'd love to see Brazil, yeah. um, Uruguay. Yeah. I would like to see just all parts, all yeah. parts. Costa Rica, Panama. I'm excited about uh, the Colombia. Yeah. I'm excited about the that we're getting ready to have that um, flight going between Panama City and Manta pretty soon. So yeah. I plan on doing a shopping trip yeah. and to see yeah. what, you know, they have VA hospitals over there too, and I'm a veteran, so I want to go over and see... Since you it'll know be that easy you're building trip. a VA clinic in Cuenca. I heard that, but do you have any more information about no, that? No, but though? I'll get it. Okay, I'll I would like it. to know more about I, that. I, I have. I know who to talk to. Oh well, good because so. I, I talked to some people back in October when they had the initial mm -hmm. meeting, and then I haven't heard anything else about it. I okay. really want to know more about that. that. That'd be great. All right. All right, so you don't have any regrets. You're glad you're here. And you're, I'm glad you're I'm happy. here. Yeah. I love it. I love We're the weather. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I, I love Manta, and I and I like to see. How Monta is growing. It's really exciting being a part of something that's growing and watching it. It's gonna be something. It's else. gonna be something else. So it's we'll see how, how much it grows, yeah. and maybe if it grows too much, I may decide to move somewhere different. But, yeah. um, but um, for right now, I love it. So no regrets? Nope. Good deal. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Don. Right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> So that's it. Terry's a very wonderful, super nice person. And one of the kind of people, she's one of the expats you'd like to know, you know. And um, it's a total pleasure of mine to, to know her. And I look forward to being able to help her with her, uh, her endeavor to learn photography. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, okay? And you know what I got to say about it. if you don't like my video, bite me, okay? Have a nice day, folks. We'll see you on the next one. I got the golf video coming up here pretty quickly in a couple of days about the Monte Cristi golf course. Ciao, ciao.